Okay. Whew. Now I've got a little bit of breathing room. I can mention that uh, in the in the U.S. the um, the Republican Party, it's pretty well known, has like been struggling with fundraising and stuff. Uh, but actually, more at the um, at the state level than at the at the federal level. Um, and I saw recently in in uh, in Michigan, the Republican Party is actually like in turmoil. They're like arguing over whether they should kick out their leader because they're about to go bankrupt. Like. They were already low on money, but now they're ab about to have, like, actually zero money. Um, although, whether or not they'll go bankrupt is, like, still a question mark. I think that's good, because, like, our right party doesn't like democracy. And also, the Democratic Party in Michigan has been doing some really good stuff. Um, you know, like the, the free breakfast and lunch programs, and I think expanding other food benefits as well. This actually gives me an opportunity to look at the news article that I pulled up earlier that I was reading. So, the, this woman, uh, Christina Caramo, is the leader of the uh, Michigan Republican Party. And because they are deeply in debt and have no money, they are $500,000 of debt. Oh, shit. And there's, let's see, the, the turmoil has has come between like the pro-trump and anti-trump republicans because of the pro-trump republicans have been responsible for a lot of electoral losses um and the like whatever moderate republicans still remain are like not very happy about it uh oh and 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 regardless of the like the camp that they fall into they're grasping for straws here they have no platform it seems Ooh, and Christina Caramo, the, the Republican Party leader, is an election denier. Not just for the 2020 election, for every election where they don't win. Guys, I I know that sometimes this gets lost in the sauce when, when people talk about this. Because, like, you know, everybody knows that when, when we say that a Republican is an election denier, that means that they believe that the 2020 election was illegitimate, right? That is the case. But what you're missing is that they also believe that every other election where a Republican lost is also illegitimate. You can see this with any Republican Party official that, like, had an election and lost. They'll say that the election was rigged against them and, sh you know, needs to be challenged in court and overturned and whatever. They just don't believe in free and fair elections. You know, it's a it's a routine pattern. There there were Republicans in Florida saying this with like Laura Loomer and whoever else. Um, Christina Caramo says this. There, um, Carrie Lake in Arizona took this line with the gubernatorial election down there. It's becoming increasingly common that Republicans are just like this. They don't like democracy because it is a system in which they are not permitted to win every single time. You have to have a good platform and a solid messaging campaign in order to win in a, in a democracy. And Republicans don't have that. They have no message. They have no platform. And whatever uh, rhetorical line they come up with inevitably has to do with social reactionary policies like being anti-gay um, and like restricting abortion, which people don't like. So, of course, they're going to lose elections. And then, you know, when faced with the question, so do we change to, do we change the party to win elections? They went, what if we just tried to change the elections to fit our party, you know? And of course, because, because they're losing elections, they can't really do that because it requires there to be actually some like inconsistency and illegitimacy in the election or whatever. Like... This is a, a free country. You can challenge the results of an election if you want, if you think there was something wrong there. But if there was nothing wrong and you take that to court, the judge is going to tell you there was nothing wrong in this election and you need to sit your ass down and take the L. You know, that's what happened to Trump 60 times. And that's what happens to every single Republican who has challenged their uh, election uh, results since then. So I say good riddance to the Michigan Republican Party. You know, see you wouldn't want to be a...